the rest is not a breeze, but um, that's one of the first big hurdles that a lot of people fall out with. Good morning, my brothers. Happy Friday, March 15th, 2019. It is your boy Jay, and welcome to my channel. So yesterday in the mail, I got this from Great and Casino. It says, celebrate your big win with us. And uh, basically, it's, I think they mailed it to anyone who got a hand pay, and they're having a photo shoot um, Saturday, April 6th. And if you want to be featured, um, as a winner, then you can go and sign up for this and you get like $50, $50 free play and $40 dining credit. I think your boy is going to do it. I think I am going to sign up for this and um, go take my picture. I am probably going to wear my NorCal shirt, so let's see if they have any restrictions on what I can or cannot wear during it. But yeah, I think it's going to be kind of cool. So yeah, random, I know. Hope you're having hope you're having a great Friday and I'll talk to you soon. Good morning, my brothers. Happy Saturday, March 16th, 2019. It is your boy Jay and welcome to my channel. If you're new to my channel, I, I'm here talking about my daily life and mostly my sobriety, my family, my work, and my trips to the casino. Um <laughs> I woke up this morning and finally made it to a 7 o'clock uh, AA meeting and it's a meeting that I usually went to every single Saturday for a while and I haven't been able to wake up early enough to go and today my higher power was, allowed me to go to this meeting today and it was so good. Um, and I say that in a lot of my vlogs. My meeting is so good. My meeting is so good. And it is. It's because this is the place where I get to recharge for my next 24 hours. You know, I live my life in sobriety and I do it one day at a time. And once I am done for 24 hours, I know my self-will will come back and I need to calm it down with going to meetings. And today's meeting was about understanding a God of your own understanding and in the beginning of my sobriety I was very conflicted with my understanding of my higher power or of God and I talk about it in my vlogs I don't I didn't like to talk I didn't like to call I didn't like to mix my spiritual journey in sobriety with my religious beliefs or the religious belief that I was brought up in because it's for me, it's very complicated when I think about religion or how, the way I grew up. You know, I was brought up Catholic and I always felt like I have to do X, Y, and Z to earn any love or compassion from my God or my higher power or the Lord. And um, through AA, through AA and the suggestions in the room, of making it more of a simplistic understanding of a higher power of my own understanding, it made it so much easier for me to have this spiritual journey. Simple suggestions like instead of calling God, God, maybe call him or her your higher power. Maybe instead of using the word God, use the word good. Whenever you read God in something, change it to the word good. And I can say that by doing those simple things, as saying higher power or changing God to good, it has afforded me a new relationship with God, with my God. I'm not saying that it's a Catholic God or a certain specific God, but again, a God of my higher, of my understanding. And because I have this new relationship, I'm able to speak to my higher power every day. I'm able to pray and meditate without any self-will. Yeah, without any self-will, period. And that is what is helping me get through the program and get through each day being sober. 
this program is about progress and not perfection and I'm still working on myself. Hopefully you guys are having a great Saturday so far. I will talk to you guys um, in the near future and um, I'm out for now. What's up you guys? So I got off work and I am meeting up with J number one and J number three and we're gonna go watch Captain Marvel and I'm super excited for this. Like I said before, we've been waiting for this movie to come out and we bought tickets like three to four weeks ago. Um, J number three likes to sit in a certain place and at this theater you have to reserve your city, your seating. So we had to buy our tickets early so that we're not sitting in the front, we're not sitting too far in the back and um, yeah. So yeah, I haven't watched the movie in a theater for maybe more than a year, so I'm pretty excited to just be at the movie theater, but more excited to hang out with my brothers outside of meetings. So I will try to vlog something there, and um, hopefully you guys are having a great Saturday. And um, yeah, I'll talk to you guys soon. Good evening, my brothers, and welcome to the end of vlog talk. So I just got back from watching Captain Marvel, which is a really good movie. It's kind of, it's a little bit more slow, and I feel like it's more of a character introduction, but um, still, nonetheless, I thought it was a great movie. Um, make sure to stay to the end because there is something at the very end to watch if you have not seen it yet. And I have never seen any of the other Marvel films like... Um, the Avengers or Captain America or Iron Man or any of those um, or Black Panther or any of those other movies but um, I can definitely understand the story and it makes me want to watch all the other stories according to J2 and J3 um, <clears throat> so yeah it was a really good one um, the theater is amazing I did not vlog in there but um, it, it's um, brand new and they have the electronic reclining chairs and um, yeah they're just really comfy and big for your boy and um, yeah it was really cool uh, I'm st I would still rather just watch a movie at home uh, because I have access to the bathroom and I can pause the movie whenever I want to um, but yeah nonetheless it was a great time hanging out with my boys and uh, <clears throat> and just being out and about so yeah it's kind of late I've been out of the house since 6 30 this morning uh, I went to my meeting in the morning came back quickly had a quick breakfast went to work and after work came back home changed and went straight to the movies so yeah tomorrow is um, my I'm meeting up with a uh, sponsor brother and we are doing our my fifth step so I've written my moral inventory of my past resentments, of, or my of my resentments, my fears, and all of that stuff, and I am ready to tell another person and admit to God, another person, my wrongs, I guess, and uh, can't say that I'm not feeling a little bit nervous about it, um, I don't know what to expect from it. Um, a lot of people say that there's an enlightenment that comes after it. There's a, a feeling that they can't explain that happens after it. And um, I've heard some people who just went through it say, I didn't get that initially. And so they've been sharing at meetings that I haven't felt this way. I even feel worse now. And, you know, so there's a lot of different things that can happen. But again, this is my program. And... Um, I just really want to get through it and just see what this whole thing is that people are talking about. So I'm really excited about it. I know that once you get through your fourth and fifth step, the rest is not a breeze, but um, that's one of the first big hurdles that a lot of people fall out with. Um, and that's because it, it makes you in touch with your emotions. It makes you in touch with your wreckage. Because, you know, right now, it's always been, how can I keep you sober? What can... what 
do I need to do to stay sober? And um, other people are always trying to encourage you and whatever, so that you get on this pink cloud and you feel like you're sober for so many, so for an amount of time and you feel good. Uh, but now you have to look back at your past and look back at the wrongs and and reevaluate yourself. And in order to move forward in the program, you need to realize your past. So that has been a really big process for me. Um, I look back at my notes and it's been three months, you know, since I initially started my fourth step with my first sponsor. Um, and it's been roughly f six weeks since I restarted my fourth step with my second sponsor. So it's a lot of work and um, I'm feeling good about it and I feel ready to do it. And um, that's what I'm going to do tomorrow morning. Um, so yeah, let's end the vlog the way we usually do. Remember to be confident, be humble, be honest, and most importantly, be well. Until the next one, my brothers. Peace. Roll the music, brothers. So we're leaving Grand Casino. Your boy got a hand pay, and uh, we're gonna head home.